So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here, and today we're talking about 35 apps on Android that you need to delete immediately. Now these apps may be games, maybe productivity, maybe perform a function and looks legit, but in the background might even compromise some of your personal information. So this video, we're gonna go over the 35 apps, what to look for, how many downloads they have, and of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell, let's go. All right, guys, so today I'm reading a little bit from lifehacker.com. As always, I'll link the article in the description. So the title of this one is Delete These 35 Malware Apps on Your Android. So these apps can be found in the Google Play Store, while others can be downloaded directly from a website. So let's go ahead and read on. So while official app stores are the safest way to find and download new software for your smartphone, they aren't without faults. The Google Play Store has protections in place to weed out malicious apps, but occasionally some manage to sneak through undetected. 35 such apps were just discovered hiding on the Play Store. If you downloaded any of these apps to your Android device, delete them now. So cyber technology company Bitdefender, which is uh, obviously well known, issued a report on Wednesday, August 17, identify a fresh batch of 35 malicious apps on Google Play Store. So these apps are in the Play Store, guys. You go there, you search for a Wi-Fi analyzer or whatever, you download it, think it's legit, think it was vetted, just to find out that it, it's doing a lot of stuff in the background. So these apps are aggressive in their deception. They uh, trick users into downloading them each misquandering as an app the average android user might enjoy using however once a user installs the app it changes his name app icon to remain hidden on the device which is even scarier so you download an application where did it go and he <laughs> can't find it so many of the apps uh, switch the icon associated with the settings and makes itself an alias for the real settings app so when you open a fake app it eventually opens the real setting tricking you into thinking it's legitimate uh, these apps will also hide themselves from recent applets making them harder to spot in the routine use all right, so the goals for these apps is to serve you an obnoxious amount of ads. Aside from annoying you, these ads generated revenue for developers of the malware app. Worse yet, the developers run these apps from their own framework, which bypasses the protection typically implemented by Android. That allows developers to link malware through these ads, compounding the danger. Like I said, I'm gonna link the full article in the description, but let's go through and just look at these ads. And if you have these, or you've downloaded these, or you think you might have downloaded them, check your phone check your settings and just um see if any of those pop up so first one is wall light wallpapers has over a hundred plus thousand downloads you also have a uh, big emoji it's a keyboard app you have grad wallpaper 3d background backdrops hundred thousand plus downloads engine wallpaper stock wallpaper effect mania so a lot of them are focused around wallpaper it seem like keyboard um, you also have art filter, fast emoji keyboard, creator sticker for WhatsApp, math solver. You also have a keyboard theme, keyboard fun. So these are topping over 100,000 downloads, guys. You also have uh, more keyboard. You have a GPS, art girl wallpaper, smart QR creator. You also have volume controls, smart GPS location, sleep sound, QR creator, media volume slider, secret astrology colorized photos in 5 4k wallpaper anime 3d so 35 applications and it looks like they have more than over a couple million downloads so it goes on and gives you some tips and tricks how to uh, avoid downloading these apps what to look for uh, maybe checking the reviews so definitely do your research before uh, venturing into a new application that you're not familiar with uh, in the comments let me know if you have any of these applications on your device if you've seen any of these applications let me know what your process is for downloading new applications that you are not familiar with of course if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button in the top right smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one